you're not going to shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to another Off Grid video. Today we're going to talk about why you should choose an all-metal off-road trailer. Well, when you look at the options out there for overlanding trailers, there's three main material choices. You can get an all-metal trailer like we make with a steel frame and an aluminum body, or you can go wood construction for fiberglass. Why is aluminum better than fiberglass or wood construction? There's multiple factors that contribute to that, but some of the top ones are durability, longevity, weight, and a lower impact on our environment. I mean, wood and fiberglass have some obvious flaws. Wood, as a naturally occurring substance, it's prone to rotting, it's prone to warping, it's prone to getting mold and mildew. There's infinite reasons why wood is not the best product to use outside. When it comes to fiberglass, when you're out in the sun, it's prone to decay and UV rays. It's also prone to cracking if you're gonna go over large bumps or rocks on the trail. I don't know where you overland. There's water, there's sun, there's bumps. There's all sorts of stuff and metal is gonna last. And then when you're done with your all of metal trailer, aluminum is infinitely recyclable. You can turn that into pop cans. You can drink beers out of it. It's awesome. <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> the killer of any trailer is if you get water inside of it, any, any substance that is not you know, fully sealed like aluminum or steel is going to develop mold and mildew and start rotting and decomposing. If any cracking, flexing, or bending occurs, or if the manufacturer just missed some sealant, any inclement weather, rain, snow, sleet, or water crossings are sure to let moisture in and begin decaying your camper from the inside out. With moisture comes mold and mildew, which can build up inside your walls and under your mattress before you're aware of it even leaving long-term health effects. Aluminum, on the other hand, is mold and mildew resistant and cannot. Fiberglass will begin to deteriorate from repeated UV exposure to sun, which is not ideal when you're talking about an overland camping trailer. Yeah. Whereas if you have aluminum, water's on it, you can wipe it off, keep it dry, and it's not gonna mold. So Corey, we briefly touched on weight. Tell us a little bit more about that. My weight or the trailer's weight? <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, the trailer's weight. So especially when you're trying to overland, you're gonna bring a lot of gear with you out into the wilderness. And that's honestly a huge reason why a lot of people choose an off-road trailer is so that they can bring more gear with them. When you're looking at the construction material of your trailer, you're gonna wanna choose the lightest weight, most efficient type of construction to be the most comfortable you can be when you're off the grid. When you're comparing aluminum to both wood and fiberglass, an aluminum trailer is gonna be about 30% lighter than a trailer made of the exact same amount of fiberglass. And speaking of, you know, your gear, you also be kind of, have to be a little bit cognizant because the trailers aren't a large RV where you can just pack that stuff full of gear, right? Definitely, but it gives you way more space than if you were to just, you know, throw a rooftop tent on your Jeep and try and fit everything in the back. When selecting a trailer, it's important to look at three weight ratings on your vehicle. Your GVWR, your tow capacity, as well as your max ton weight. By building with aluminum and not fiberglass or wood, we're able to build our trailers lighter, which means you can now bring more gear. So Corey, we touched on how these trailers are more or less green for the environment. So what does that mean? Let's, let's dive into that a little bit more. Well, aluminum is known as the green metal. It is the most recyclable material you could build a trailer out of. I mean, technically, you can recycle fiberglass. It's a lot more costly, and that's why you see most old RVs and boats in dumps and not turned into something new, like you would with aluminum, where it's infinitely recyclable. Or you can keep it a trailer forever because it's aluminum. It won't rot, it won't deteriorate, it won't rust. You can give it to your kids, and they can give it to their kids. It can be a family heirloom. What else sets us apart from the competition? Well, I think the one thing that we're, we're pretty proud of internally is the fact that we have in-house engineering. By choosing to build with aluminum, we're able to manufacture our own components with our own in-house engineers. So everything you see here that's metal on the trailer is made in-house, from the fenders to the walls. And something that we're very proud of are our doors. All the doors are made in-house. Uh, you know, once you get your hands on the doors, you can really tell 
the quality of the door. It's a lot more heavier and robust. And there are countless other reasons to choose an off-grid trailer. Uh, we can go a ton, down a ton of rabbit holes talking about the quality and the craftsmanship because we all honestly believe in the product. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't all be here. So, you know, uh, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we appreciate your time and uh, look forward to chat with you a little bit more in the future. And we'll see you on the next off-grid video. <laughs> Let's do lots of finger guns. Man, Kyle's got his work cut out for him. Yeah. And scene. <laughs>